to find the general solution of the ODE y prime minus y is equals to x y squared. I first go on and rewrite that equation in full there, the y prime, that's the derivative of y with respect to x, then minus y is equals to x y squared. We see that this is a nonlinear first order ODE. We also note that this is a Bernoulli differential equation because it is of the form the derivative of y with respect to x plus p of x multiplied by y is equal to q of x multiplied by y to the power l. So by comparing these two equations, we see that uh, the coefficient of y here is a p. The coefficient of y here is minus 1. So we have our p of x is minus 1. On the right hand side, we are having q of x. Then here we are having x. So we have q of x is equal to x. Then the power to which the dependent variable y is raised is a true. So we have m is equal to true. To solve our Bernoulli differential equations, we use a substitution u is equal to y to the power 1 minus m. This substitution reduces the Bernoulli differential equation into a linear differential equation. So substituting the value of m that we have here, our u will become 1 minus 2, so it will be u is equal to y to the power minus 1. So we have our substitution there. Now when we are looking at uh, this substitution, we can then go on and uh, use implicit differentiation, which says that uh, the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to the derivative of u with respect to y multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x. Now in this part, we are having the derivative of u with respect to y. So we go on and differentiate this u here with respect to y. So when you differentiate the u with respect to y, we get the derivative of u with respect to y is equal to minus y to the power minus 2. And then substitute this result that we have just obtained on this part, so that we have the derivative of u with respect to x is equal to minus y to the power minus 2 multiplied by the derivative of y with respect to x. So that's uh, the differential equation that we are having there. So if we look at uh, on this part here, we can then go on and make the derivative of y with respect to x subject of the formula there. So what we do is we divide that whole equation by minus y to the power minus 2. And uh, we get the derivative of y with respect to x is equal to minus y squared multiplied by the derivative of u with respect to x. So that's uh, the equation that we have now. Now looking at... Um, the equation that we had, we have a derivative of y with respect to x. And we are saying the derivative of y with respect to x is this function here. So we go on and substitute it into this part. Then we'll have minus y squared, the derivative of u with respect to x. Then the rest of this equation, we rewrite it as it is. So it will be minus y is equals to x y squared. Earlier I mentioned that uh, the substitution that we made transforms the differential equation into a linear differential equation. When we usually write linear differential equation, we have the coefficient of the derivative being 1. So we need to have a coefficient 1 here. So to do that, we divide throughout by minus y squared. And when you do that, we get the derivative of u with respect to x plus y to the power minus 1 is equal to minus x. But uh, if we look at uh, our substitution that we started with, we said u is equal to y to the power minus 1. But we are having a y to the power minus 1 here. So using this equation, we are saying that y to the power minus 1 is a u. So our differential equation becomes the derivative of u with respect to x plus u is equal to minus x. So that's the differential equation that we have we see that it is of the form of linear differential equations. It is of the form the derivative of u with respect to x plus p of x multiplied by u is equal to q of x. To solve uh, this type of uh, differential equations, we use an integrating factor. And the integrating factor is defined as mu of x is equal to exponent of the integral of p of x with respect to x. When we then multiply the differential equation by the integrating factor, it will then simplify to the derivative with respect to x of mu of x multiplied by u 
is equal to mu of x multiplied by q of x. So by comparison of these two equations here, we see that our p of x is equal to 1. Our q of x is equal to minus x. So using this p, we can obtain our integrating factor, put it here. So it will be the exponent of the integral of 1. The integral of 1 there is an x, so our integrating factor mu is equal to exponent of x. Then we go on and substitute the mu and the q into this equation here, so that we have the derivative with respect to x of exponent of x multiplied by u is equal to minus x multiplied by exponent of x. So that's the equation that we have. We then go on and integrate both sides with respect to x, then solve for u. So integrating both sides with respect to x and solving for u, we have the integral of the derivative with respect to x of exponent of x multiplied by u with respect to x is equal to minus x multiplied by exponent of x with respect to x. But when you are looking at uh, this part here, that's the integral of a derivative. When we have the integral of the derivative of a function f of x, the result that we get is f of x, the function itself. So on this part here, what you obtain is the result will be what we were differentiating here, the exponent of x multiplied by u. So the left hand side is exponent of x multiplied by u. Then on the right hand side there, this integral, we see that uh, we are having a product. When we have a product, we use integration by parts. The integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. So when we apply integration by parts on the highlighted part, we have minus x exponent of x plus exponent of x plus c, where the c there is a constant of integration. So that's uh, the solution that we are having. We then go on and make u subject to the formula by dividing throughout by the exponent of x. So we have u is equal to minus x plus 1 plus c multiplied by exponent of minus x. But what we have found here, that's uh, the solution for the u. Our original differential equation of the dependent variable was y. We need the solution for y. So for us to get the solution of y, we use this substitution that we used earlier. We make y subject of the formula, then we have y is equal to 1 divided by u. But we are saying this is our u, so we substitute it here, then we have y is equal to 1 divided by minus x plus 1 plus c multiplied by exponent of minus x. So what we are having here, that's the general solution of the differential equation y prime minus y is equal to x y squared.